GPT help. Test 10. Retell lecture and summarize spoken text. Subscribe to PTE help to reinforce your PTE preparations. So I'm the co-founder and CEO of Elevest, which is a digital investment platform for women. If you had told me a couple of years ago um, that I should build a digital investment platform for women, I would have told you you were sexist. Um, I would have told you it was a really stupid idea. Um, and I would have probably been somewhat disdainful to you about it and would have said, what do you, you know, women don't need anything different from men. You know, what do you think, our lady brains can't handle the big man brain numbers? But then, but then, uh, one morning I had an insight, which is the retirement savings crisis in this country is really a woman's issue and a woman's crisis. We retire with two thirds of the money of men and we live six to eight years longer. 80% of nursing home residents are women. So it really is, while we're not used to thinking about it through a gendered perspective, it is really a woman's issue. That changes the solutions. They go from being all about tax increases and entitlement cuts to being about women having more money. So how do we get women more money? Well, there are a lot of people working on the gender pay gap and the gender work achievement gap, but it struck me at about the same time that there's a gender investing gap that we cost women hundreds of thousands of dollars, some women millions of dollars over the course of their lives because they don't invest as much as men do. We women tend to blame ourselves. Ah, I need more financial education. Um, I really need to dig in and do this. I just have to find the right company. But it struck me as I sort of dug into it that maybe the problem is not ours as women. Maybe the challenge is that it's an industry that's by men for men that 86% of financial advisors are men and that number is held steady for forever. PTE Help, Test 10, Retail Lecture and Summarize Spoken Text, Sample Answer from PTE Help, the speaker is a CEO of the digital investment platform for women, and she started her venture a couple of years ago, when she realized that the retirement plans of women in the country are actually terrible. Retirement is really an issue for them as they get retired earlier than men, and they live longer. So they face financial crisis. Also, women spend less time and efforts on financial planning. Considering this, if there is gender wage gap, there is also a gender investment gap. In addition to this, most of the financial advisors in the market are male. PT Help, Test 10, Retail Lecture and Summarize Spoken Text. Subscribe to PTE Help to reinforce your PTE preparations. Hey everybody, today I want to talk about the idea of crowding out. You know, you've heard that before. Crowding out means when if the government has to borrow money, then that takes funds away from the private sector, which could have been used for productive investment. Now, this is all completely wrong, of course, as we know, because the government issues its own money, the money that it spends in. We know that. But let's just say, for example, let's just for the sake of argument, look at this crowding out idea, this crowding out concept. Let's assume that the government does remove funds from the private sector. So what happens? Does that leave the private sector with no funds to invest? Well, think about it. If the government removes funds from the private sector by borrowing, then what happens? It immediately turns around and spends those funds right back into the economy. The way to think about it, think of a swimming pool with a pump. The pump is removing 
water from the swimming pool and immediately circulating it back into the swimming pool. And in effect, what happens is nothing. The level of the water does not change. Okay? So even if we were to go with this, uh, this, this crowding out idea, which is not even applicable, as I said, because it doesn't work that way, but even if it did work that way, the net amount of money in the economy would not change. The government would borrow the money, then it would spend it right back into the economy. You'd have the same level, level of money and ostensibly uh, those, those very productive folks who had all those savings, well, they'd be there exactly where they were before in their businesses and being very productive and they'd earn that money back and they'd have those funds again to invest. So, I mean, if you take the idea of the crowding out folks and really think about it, there is no net change in the amount of money in the economy. And actually, we... PTE help. Test 10. Retell lecture and summarize spoken text. Sample answer from PTE help. Crowding out means the situation of taking away the money from the private sector, when government want to borrow the money. But, according to The Economist, this idea is totally inapplicable. It is because of the notion that if regime does remove the investments by borrowing, then it turns around back in the market, just like a swimming pool pumping back and circulating the water. So, in real world, crowding out means that the net amount of the money does not change, rather government issues its own money itself. PT Help, Test 10, Retail Lecture and Summarize Spoken Text. Subscribe to PT Help to reinforce your PTE preparations. I notice that lots of the people I know who are depressed and anxious, their depression and anxiety focuses around their work. So I started looking at, well, how do people feel about their work? What's going on here? Gallup did the most detailed study that's ever been done on this. What they found is 13% of us like our work most of the time. 63% of us are what they called sleepwalking through our work. We don't like it, we don't hate it, we tolerate it. 24% of us hate our jobs. So you think about that. 87% of people in our culture don't like the thing they're doing most of the time. They send their first work email at 7.48 a.m. and clock off at 7.15 p.m. on average. Most of us don't want to be doing it. Could this have a relationship to our mental health? I started looking for the best evidence on this and I discovered an amazing Australian social scientist called Michael Marmot, who I got to know, who discovered, in the story of how he discovered it is amazing, but I'll give you the headline. He discovered the key factor that makes us depressed and anxious at work. If you go to work and you feel controlled, you feel you have few or limited choices, you are significantly more likely to become depressed or actually even more likely to have a stress-related heart attack. And this is because of one of the things that connects so many of the causes of depression and anxiety I learned about. Everyone watching this knows that you have natural physical needs, right? You need food, you need water, you need shelter, you need clean air. If I took them away from you, you would be in trouble real fast, right? There's equally strong evidence that we have natural psychological needs. You've got to feel you belong. You've got to feel your life has meaning and purpose. You've got to feel that people see you and value you. You've got to feel you've got a future that makes sense. And if human beings are deprived of those psychological needs, they will experience extreme forms of distress. Our culture is good at lots of things. We're getting less and less good at, at meeting people's deep underlying psychological needs. And this is one of the key factors why depression is rising. And that opens...
PTE help. Test 10. Retell lecture and summarize spoken text. Sample answer from PTE help. Depression and anxiety in the work life is a serious issue. In a study, it has been estimated that almost 60% workers continue sleepwalking at work, where 20% hate their jobs. That literally means 87% of people in our culture don't think that they are doing most of their time. As such, there is a strong relationship between our mental health and psychological needs. For instance, if we feel controlled or restricted at our workplace, we feel depressed. We need clean air, food and many things for our physical needs. Similarly, we have psychological needs like having purposeful future.